Worms Armageddon is a turn-based strategy game that was developed and published by Team 17 that was released in 1999 for the PlayStation, Windows PC, Sega Dreamcast, Nintendo Game Boy Color and also on the Nintendo 64 and was part of the popular Worms series of games that had grown in popularity over recent years during the 90s and Worms Armageddon would be the third installment in the Worms series itself that would allow players to control a team of up to eight different types of worms that are tasked with defeating the opposing team that would also use and have access to a wide range of weapons at their disposal anything from the likes of airstrikes to bazookas machine guns shotguns even nuclear strikes it pretty much had it all but what this game done is it added in the fun factor to the strategy elements and if you've played any of the previous worms games themselves you would be familiar with how the games play out they genuinely are a very fun selection of games in all fairness as even though they're a lot more slow paced due to the tactical and turn based nature of the games they do present a lot of fun like they're they've really good use of graphics especially when the later games with the likes of Worms Armageddon and more noticeably even with Worms World Party which would be the next game in the series and they just have some really really nice colourful cartoony style visuals that really suit the whole aesthetic and the tone of the game plus they've really good use of very funny and iconic sound effects that when Worms are taken out of the equation or when they are killed in battle they just leave like funny sound effects noises and even one line phrases that are just hilarious to listen to when you're playing the game and due to the nature of the game it can also be extremely addictive even from my own personal experience i remember playing the first worms game and although i did struggle with that originally i did gradually get into it and i enjoyed it but it was with worms primarily worms world party that i really got into playing the games and i later played worms armageddon now after that and again it was just as addictive they really are a fun selection of games to play and if you do enjoy strategy games they're just a blast to play especially even with, if you're playing with your mates because you really have to think about what you're doing you have to make sure that you have your weapon placements and even your shots as accurate as they can be plus you also have to contend with various weather effects with the wind blowing in different directions and this can either work with you or go against you depending on which weapons or the strategies that you use but again that all adds to the whole dynamic of the experience when you're playing even if you're just playing against the computer ai you're playing against your mates you will have to really think outside the box and how you approach each move when your turn eventually rolls around and even in some cases depending on where the characters are placed it can add a whole different dynamic because you have to then contend with how do you even reach or do damage to other characters when you can't reach them so you have to really think of whether or not to engage or whether you can use the teleportation device to teleport to them or even just to skip a move and wait for another turn for hopefully another player can take advantage of the situation so you have to be thinking the whole time which definitely adds to the fun factor of the game plus it does have a lot of very funny humorous antics and just fun gameplay that just really adds to the whole appeal of the game and it's easy to see why the games themselves even with Worms Armageddon got great reviews across the board on the variety of platforms that it was released on stating that they loved the turn based nature and the strategic elements in the game but they also loved the humour and the graphics that was presented as it combined everything together into a full on very funny and entertaining package and the Worms series of games are also considered to be among some of the greatest and funniest strategy games of all time and it's easy to see why they just genuinely are a lot of fun they're very very addictive and even with Worms World Party that later came out on the PlayStation and also came out in the PC and that was my first real proper entry into the Worms series to a point that that's where I really got addicted to the series and it was a lot of fun so even going back to playing Worms Armageddon was also a lot of fun in its own right and even in later years there would be a sequel to Worms Armageddon with Worms Armageddon 2 that would be released on the PlayStation 3 and you could play that with online play against your mates or against other competitors so that added a whole different dynamic to the game and it genuinely was just a lot of fun like the Worms games are that popular that they've generated multiple sequels and spin-offs anything from your typical Worms combat type games to even like Worms Crazy Golf and other types of mad and over the top type games that have been released over the years and the majority of them have all gotten good reviews and genuinely are perceived to be very funny which they genuinely are they just have really good characters and just a unique appeal that suits a variety of different players and game types and Worms Armageddon is no exception to that and I would love to know your thoughts of this game if you have played it yourself and what do you think of the game overall and are you a fan of the Worms series do you like that kind of quirky funny tactical nature to the games I'd love to hear whatever stories you do have of this game so be sure to share it 
down in the comments below. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be updated for future videos. And if you would like to see more content on the channel around other types of strategy games similar to the Worm series, then you can check out this playlist here on screen to see more of those games in action. And as always, keep those gaming memories alive.